Yes, honey, the girls of a particular age are out here doing their things, honey. Give these girls they things, honey. A lot of y'all was trying to give Holly the blues about this picture. We're not even going to pretend we're going to give Holly the blues. We we not even a hater like that. We don't hate on the girls over here. We read them when necessary, but we don't hate on the girls over here, honey. And y'all give Holly and Gail their things. But a lot of y'all was mad at Holly. A lot of y'all was mad at Holly Berry. Honey, about this picture says some people get a pass when they um, post news and da 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 da. First of all, Holly ain't showing no more in this picture than y'all girls who say in that show in every other picture, honey. For a lot of us, this is the first time we are seeing Holly's ass in general full front, full, full frontal from the back. Honey, this is the first time we getting a, high, a Holly back shot. A lot of y'all don't even know how to pose without a back shot, honey. It's not the same thing. Y'all ain't the same girl. It ain't the same league. It's a whole different thing. This is this is a whole different type of representation, honey. And Holly got a purpose behind it, honey. Her man posted it anyway, honey. Yeah, she looks happy. She looks happy with this one. Hopefully, he ain't another Eric Benet. Honey, Eric Benet cheated on Holly through both drawer legs, honey, with his pearls on. Mm hmm Yep. Holly got a purpose behind it. Holly is out here being representation for women over 50. Honey, Holly, do, do your things. Give Holly her thing. Every woman, if you live long enough, will go through menopause. And most women spend the longest period of their life in their pre-menopause or menopausal years, like three decades. It's not talked about, so people go through this often yeah. without really a kind of support group, without yes. knowing what's happening, understanding fully what's happening to their body. Because there's a stigma around it, and that's why I've gotten involved, to try to destigmatize it, to let us understand that when we reach this time in our life, these are our best years, yeah. right? So to think that we should pack it up or we should not pay attention to all of the things that are going on with our body, I think is a, is a real problem. And that's what most women do. When you started talking to your friends before you even got to the stage of advocating for real change, what were your friends saying to you when you even brought the subject up? They were like, girl, thank God. <laughs> thank God for talking about this with me. Let's yes. talk about it. Every time I brought it up, they just dove in yeah. because they were starving to talk with someone about it and not feel shame, right? And they were starved to share their experiences. And we realized we're going through a lot of the same things, right? And what did people say to you? Because I know you probably, you have this extraordinary career. Did people say to you, well, you don't want to go out talking about that now? Did When you started making the bold step to... to Bring these um, subjects into the forefront. <laughs> Only men. Only men. There was no woman that said that. Every woman said, thank God. Only a few men said, ooh, you mean it's kind of hard for women as it is? Do you sure, are you sure you want to do that? I said, that's why I want to do it. Because it should not be hard for Amen. women. And we Amen. should be allowed to talk about this. And we should have your support, man. Yes. So no, I'm not going to not talk about this. Well, this is why I want to bring this to as many people that can hear it. You're coming to Washington, yeah. truly advocating. Well, I'm advocating for um, menopause. Baby, if anybody can make menopause beautifully sexy, it is none other than the Holly Berry. Honey, give Holly her things. She is the woman of this time to do this. Yes, honey. Baby, if we ever get a, another version of Golden Girls, if we ever get another 50 plus all female cast sitcom show ever again in life, honey. Give Holly and Viola their things, honey. Let's see what they could do with comedy, honey, baby. Oh, I would love to see them on screen together in a sitcom, honey. Who else would y'all want? Who else would y'all want in a black Golden Girls esque sitcom? All black 50 plus female. Actors, honey, who would you want? Who would you want, baby? Holly is give Holly her things, honey. She's she's speaking. She's not just making an appearance here and there. She's on the whole press tour about menopause. Thank you. Uh, first, let me say how incredibly honored I am to be here. And never did I think in my lifetime I would be here. Uh, 
advocating for something and being a champion of a cause, especially this one. But I want to thank Senator Murray. Um, you were the first person that I met when I came here uh, on this journey. Um, and Senator Murkowski, thank you for coming on as uh, also a co-lead. Uh, when that happened, I knew right away, oh my God, this is going to be a bipartisan uh, movement because I can't think of a topic that should not be politicized. Just get into all the women around Holly and keep in mind that they're probably all around the same age. Likely some of those women are younger than Holly. Just keep that in mind. Which one of them is not like the other one? Our lifetime, ladies, one of the most important thing that we'll do for ourselves. And it's really important that we all stand together and lock arms. And I am beyond honored to be here and be a, a part of this movement that's happening. So, so you guys might say, okay, why me? Why am I here? Well, first, I'm here because I'm standing up for myself. Because I know that when a woman stands up for herself, she stands up for all women. And all women go through menopause. And, you know. Yeah, honey, stands up for all women. Honey, stands up, sit down, shut up, don't play in her face. I, I love Holly Berry. Yeah. Who is the political butch queen? I'm Cory Booker. Lord, y'all carry, carry everywhere y'all go, don't y'all? Jesus.